Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to move around the module positions and how to remove some uh, unwanted text. If you come to certain websites, you actually go to, you know, be kind of entertained. When people come to a website looking like this, full of text, full of um, no images, uh, just basically pure text. Um, they'll get bored and they'll leave within 10 seconds. So we want to eliminate as much text as we can and put in some pictures and maybe some something fun in, on the page. So the first thing I do when I, when I build a website is remove most of these module positions. Unless we need it or unless we're going to add images in these module positions. We're going to go ahead and get rid of key concepts, who's online, and this news flash up here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a trick that I learned um, a few months ago is if you type in this code after your website, so it's a, it's a question mark tp equals 1 and hit enter, you're going to be able to see a layover of the module position. So this one's newsflash and you can't really read it on this one, but you can on this one. This one says user 3, this is user 4, so you can kind of see where the module positions are right on top of your website and this is very helpful when you're looking for one of these so on the left we have all of these so we're gonna go ahead and remove key concepts who's online and newsflash so now we can go to our administration panel which I've already logged in so it's your website slash administrator that'll get you here and then you want to go to extensions module manager so let's go ahead and go to page one and we're gonna remove who's online we're gonna remove key concepts so all you have to do is disable them and if you want if you really wanted to remove them you can just check it and hit delete and that'll get rid of it forever but I'm just gonna go ahead and and remove them off the front page so now that we refresh and we'll remove this code so that we can see what we're doing um, we've removed one of these and that one so we need to remove uh, the news flash here. Let's go ahead, go ahead and look at that. It's on page two. So there's a news flash. Let's remove that. Okay. So now we re 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 we have reduced the amount of text on the website. So now it would be nice to add some images. I'm probably not going to do that in this tutorial, but um, you can do that by simply removing this module and adding a big banner here or something to that effect. Um, but already I think it looks a little cleaner, a little less um, just random I guess you could say. You know you can tell the menus here, you can tell this is a logo, it's got some white space just for for good measure and you know it's just all around good, good looking. So that's one one tip you can use. Okay, so let's say I wanted resources right on top of polls over here. So that's really easy to do. All you have to do is go back to your administra administration panel. Um, go to, what was that called again? That was resources. So we're going to go to resources and we're going to move this from left to right because I believe that's on the right column there. And if we come back to our website and hit refresh it went ahead and moved over. Now you notice that the styling was different. This is because the styling that is added here, if we look at this advanced parameters here, it has styling underscore menu. Now in our CSS file, which is a default Joomla CSS, it says that if it's on the left hand side, the CSS styling is going to be specific to the left side, so it's going to have this blue border, so on and so forth. Right side doesn't have those features so it's gonna look kinda weird what I usually do is either remove that or create my own uh, class suffix so let's go ahead and try to remove that and see what that does so I haven't done this ahead of time but it obviously didn't really do anything so um, if you have some styling for your right hand side you can go ahead and do that or you could just leave it the way you want or move it back so if we wanted to move it back let's just move it right back so we'll go left hit apply and we'll see that now it looks the same as it was over here 
that's because we didn't re we didn't put back the styling the way it was. So let's come back, go to module class suffix, underscore menu, and hit apply. Come back to the website, hit refresh, and there it is. Now it looks beautiful just like it did before. So you can go ahead and add your own CSS uh, module suffixes and stuff like that. Um, I haven't dug really deep into that. I have done my own in the past, but uh, I'm not too great at it. So I try to take a template and kind of customize what they have already done, but I don't get too deep into the CSS. So that's a way to move your modules around from one side to the other. You can also move it here. You can even put it up here. It's just not going to look very good. So some styling is required to um, add stuff to this Joomla website or to move stuff around just because it's not going to be always perfect. Uh, maybe, in the, maybe in the future they're going to create something, but right now this is where the technology is at. And I still think it's really good and it's really easy to move stuff around. I mean, this isn't like doing HTML. So in my opinion, this is a great way to go. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave some comments down at the bottom. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and please comment, rate, and subscribe.